with each anniversary of the three mile island accident more and more of the usually conservative elements of san luis obispo came out against diablo canyon and while the mothers for peace appealed every decision made by the nuclear regulatory commission 60 local groups from across California formed a coalition to organize large-scale, highly visible opposition to Diablo. In the beginning, Ray Fleming could not have predicted she'd be ordering porta-potties for 30,000 people or talking strategy with the California governor the day he came out against Diablo. In the end, there was no time for rallies or marches. Back at Diablo Canyon's main gate, the human blockade began. You better have King Kong stand at that front gate, because I'm going to work Monday morning. You talk to mothers of peace, I got a mom at home. And if I don't go to work, there ain't going to be no peace at home. <laughs> One last vote remained before the license would be granted and Diablo would start up, instantly becoming radioactive for thousands of years. The Abalone Alliance launched a blockade of all the entrances to Diablo Canyon, blocking the same workers they'd once been leafleting. People have been thrown out of the way into the fences. Um, in Each one blockader case, had been trained in nonviolence, the and the coordinators maintained direct are, communication are with the police. And we also understand that this morning a CHP officer got out of his car and cocked his gun and pointed it at the people. With the blockade in full force, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission convened in Washington for the final vote. I wonder then if I might call for a vote that would authorize loading the fuel into the reactor for the first time and testing at low power levels. On the basis of this order? On the basis of this order, yes, sir. Aye. Uh, I was aye. I, I gather uh, there are no nays. Five to zero, they have authorized a low-power test license for the plant. Oh, After nearly 10 years of opposition, Let me think for a minute. Ray found it hard to believe. Mark. Okay. Who did he verify the low power right. testing we'll license with? We'll, we will be confirming the blockage. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. Five hundred. Okay. But I really think we need to verify okay. it before we give it out. And... It's on the wire services too. Mark, they went on the wire services ten times that Diablo was licensed and our blockade started. Call commission, Washington. The blockade continued, even though the license had been granted. Over a two-week span, 600 officers made nearly 2,000 arrests. It became the longest, and in terms of arrests, the largest civil disobedience action in the history of U.S. nuclear power. With the main gate cleared and the last blockader in jail, Pacific Gas and Electric made final preparations to start the reactor. But then, at the last moment, PG&E publicly admitted a grave mistake. There are two reactors at Diablo, mirror images of each other. The blueprints for units one and two had gotten mixed up, and the earthquake supports for the cooling pipes, the same cooling system designed to prevent a meltdown, had been installed backwards. It was the first of hundreds of mistakes discovered later, all made on the two and a half billion dollar structure described by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission as the most highly analyzed building in the world. Embarrassed and furious, the NRC commissioners suspended Diablo Canyon's license indefinitely.